So now guys i hope you're all doing great and i hope you liked all these animations let me show you how you can download install and customize these titles so first thing is first you need to download these so follow the link in the given in the description open that up and just scroll down till you see this download button over here obviously you can download this for free if you type in zero over here and click on this button it will begin downloading but if you want to support this channel, then you can consider making a small donation. That will not only help the channel, but it will also motivate me in making more free content for you guys. So I'm going to set this to zero and click on I want this and then type in your email address and click on get. And then you will see the download button over here. So you can click on that and it will begin downloading. All right. So after you download it, then uh, it will be in a zip format. You will have to extract it. And after you extract it, you will get the these all these settings file the location text and the font folder so we'll start with the font folder double click on that it will have all these uh, four fonts i use these fonts to create this project so probably you will have to install these in order to see the animations work so right click click on install for all users i've already installed it so i'm not going to do that again i'm going to go back and click on the location folder and uh, if you're using windows this is the location where you have to paste in these macros for Mac users. This will be the location and for Linux users, this is going to be the location. So I'm already in that location. So it's right here. Templates edit titles and I have already copied the titles from the title pack to the template folder. Now, if you're already running resolve, make sure you close that up first and then you have to launch it again. And then create a new project and in the effects library make sure you click on that in the titles scroll down in the fusion titles you'll see motion epic title 1 to title 5 so let's start importing our first title which is this one and the cool thing is that this will work with any frame rate and if you want to change the length if you think that it's too long so you can uh, reduce the length and uh, the animation will adjust to the new length of this clip alternatively you can also increase the length and it will still work with that length as well so i'm going to set this to five seconds which is the default then we have uh, the text so we can change the text in the style text option um, then you can change the font over here um, the font style the color of the font and you can change the size of the font the tracking amount the spacing and you can even animate this over here as well if that's what you want and then we have the shadow strength uh, so uh, there is a bit of shadow behind this box so if you want that shadow uh, you can keep the shadow strength uh, if you don't want the shadow you can set this to zero but i kind of like it so i'm going to set this to 0 0.5 and you can play with the shadow angle and the shadow distance and the amount of blur that you want then there is type uh, this is the color uh, of this box uh, which is set to black for now you can change it to any color that you want and you can even set this to a gradient and uh, then we have the offset as well the gradient offset so you can control that as well and then finally we have the background color this white color if you want to change that you can do that as well you can change it to a gradient as well uh, and if you want it to be a transparent so you can set this to black and alpha you can set that to zero as well so now if you can if i just create this or move this onto a new track and let's uh, import a picture and if i just put this under this title you can see now it's a transparent uh, background i can see your background behind this animation another cool thing that you can do is if you want to animate uh, the second let's say if you want to animate the presence text with a different font so if you select this over here and change it to something else you'll see that it's going to 
change both the text as well so in order to do that what you have to do is you have to right click in the style text box and click on character level styling and once you click on that then you can go to fusion tab all right and you click on this node and you can go to modifiers double click on this character level styling and then all you have to do is just zoom into this a bit and uh, you can just rubber band select your text so i'm going to select this presents text and then i can change its font weight or change it to a, a different font so i can do all kinds of stuff here all right so i'm going to set this something like that and if you go back there you have your uh, text changes in the main animation as well. I guess that's pretty much it. That's how you can customize this title If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below if this video was helpful Then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one